Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Uh, this lecture is about uh, rabies or uh, mad dog disease. Uh, previously, uh, I have been discussing different uh, uh, diseases, uh, especially uh, you know, with reference to livestock species. Um, <clears throat> Let's uh, start this uh, rabies. Um, it's a disease of uh, dogs, foxes, wolves, hyenas, and in some places it is a disease of bats which feed on blood. Uh, actually, the disease it's it, it's passed to other animals or to people if they are bitten by an animal with the rabies. The germs uh, which cause rabies live in the uh, saliva of the sick or rabid animal. Uh, this is a killer disease, but not every dog which bites is infected with a rabies. So hmm, let's discuss. A rabies basically, I uh, already told you, um, it's a disease of uh, uh, which animals? And uh, actually, it's a disease of the brain, which can affect all animals as well as humans. It is uh, caused by uh, germs which are transferred through the bites of rabid or sick uh, carnivorous animals, such as uh, dogs, uh, foxes, bulls, hyenas, and some blood sucking bats. So when the rabid animal uh, bites another animal or human, uh, the germs which live in its saliva, they pass into the body uh, through the wound caused by the bite. The germs travel along the nerves to the brain. The time between the bite and the first appearance of signs that uh, the bitten animal or human has been infected can take from two to 10 weeks or sometimes more than this. The time taken it depends on the distance of the bite from the brain. If the bite is on the face or head, the bitten animal or human will quickly show signs. But if uh, uh, the bite is on the leg, it will take much longer for signs to develop. Uh, the next uh, uh, thing which I want to discuss is the journal signs of uh, rabies. Um, uh, you should first look for the marks of the bite and discover where and when the animal uh, was bitten. All uh, rabid animals, they show similar signs in the beginning, like uh, they change their normal behavior and, and, and behave very differently, strangely. So they start to stop, they, they stop eating or drinking. There is no change in the body temperature. Male animal, uh, animal will try to mate among other animals. So these signs will continue for three to five days. Uh, then before it dies, the animal will develop one or the other of the two types of the disease. So uh, actually there are two types of this disease, there are two forms of this disease. The furious one or mad type of the disease and the second one is the quiet or dumb type of the disease. Uh, in case of uh, furious or mad type of the disease, uh, it makes the animal aggressive and it will bite anything. While the dumb or white type uh, uh, of the uh, disease, it makes uh, uh, the animal quiet and the animal doesn't move. Um, let's discuss rabies in different uh, animal species. Uh, rabies in the dog. Dogs show either of the two types of rabies. A dog with the furious or mad type of the disease will run around and bite anything. The eyes become red and saliva drips from the mouth. Uh, a dog with the dumb or quiet type of the disease, it cannot move. It looks as if it has a bone um, stuck in the mouth and saliva drips from the mouth. And the rabies in, in the dog lasts about 10 days before the animal dies. If the animal doesn't die after this length of time, then it may not be suffering from rabies. So that is a sure thing that if it, the animal has, is, has not been dead, um, it, it's not uh, I mean, suffering from rabies. <clears throat> uh, 
a rabies in sheep, goats, and cattle, it is characterized by uh, the animals uh, becoming restless and excited. They may bite themselves and saliva drips from the mouth. The most important sign in cattle is that uh, the animal bellows it calls. I mean, very frequently and uh, with a strange sound, the animals will become paralyzed and die. In case of uh, uh, if the rabies occurs in the horse and camel, the horse will show the furious type of disease. It will kick and bite and show signs which are uh, similar to colic. The animal will die after paralysis of the back legs. In the camel, the signs of rabies are similar to those shown um, by an animal in the rut. And rut basically is a condition, um, a breeding condition in the male camels. Now, um, here, um, the question is how or, or I mean, what to do uh, if we find a biting dog? So remember, first of all, remember that no, not every dog which bites has rabies. If the dog belongs to somebody, ask the owner about its normal behavior. If the dog is showing signs of rabies, you must inform your veterinary um, I mean, officer immediately. The dog must be shot and if it has bitten anybody, they must be taken to a hospital immediately for vaccination. So I think uh, that's the solution. If you are sure or if you are after informing the veterinary officer or veterinary authorities, uh, they find out that the animal is rabid, then definitely uh, shooting uh, the, this uh, uh, animal will be essential or necessary. The next question here is um, how we can uh, control the rabies. Um, dogs in our community, they can be vaccinated against rabies and we should ask for um, veterinary services uh, about the vaccination against rabies. If there is an outbreak of rabies, the livestock in our community or surrounding us, it must be vaccinated too. So I think uh, um, uh, that was all for uh, rabies. If you have any question, you can uh, ask me in comments. Uh, thank you very much for listening to me.